what do we have here? Another project car getting loaded on the trailer. All right, guys, got a new GC two door sedan RS coming. Shoot a little shot of the sucker getting loaded on the trailer. That's right, guys. It's been salvaged. It's a trash, beat up car. We're gonna strip a bunch of parts off this sucker, especially the manual transmission and the disc brakes. And this will be the next project car. So sweet. This is my little Subaru only shop. It's a DIY Subaru channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles and motorsport events. It's a DIY themed channel where I walk you guys through the steps to get your Subarus back on the road and hopefully do a little racing of your own. So thanks for checking out the video guys. I really appreciate it. Quick little walk around on this 2.5 RS. It's been crashed, it's got a salvage title. I'm stripping it for a bunch of parts. Check this out. Looking good. Got the hood scoop and the vents. Show you the interior. It's got a clean dash. Well, except for the airbags. It's got a 2001 manual transmission, ECU and harness. Interior's been stripped and I have it outside of the car. And I'll be selling a bunch of the parts. Start right here. Got the seats right here. Those rear seats may be taken, but the front seats should be available. I got the interior plastic trim panels for the A-pillars. This is for a four-door sedan, of course. Moving along here, some of the air conditioning components. Got the rear tail lights, corner lens. This is for the RS bumper, the rear wing. There's actually some aftermarket little covers, I think, for the RS bumper. There's one left little uh, clear corner. That's a power, that's the uh, cruise control unit. Some overflow tanks for the radiator. This is the little uh, windshield wipers, AC, alternator, covers, starter, OEM starter. All the, basically the uh, air intake stuff for a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter. Coil and plugs. 2.5 liter RS struts and coils. Who knows the condition the struts are in, but these are the original coils for a 2001 2.5 RS four-door sedan. Glove box components. One under tray component. This is a rain guard. Sill plates for the four-door sedan. A little bit of duct tape on them, but that was just holding down the carpet. There's no cracks in the sill plates, so I just get a little bit of residue from that duct tape to deal with. And there's a side profile. It's got some nice six spoke original rs wheels in really good condition a little bit of curb brash on them but teeny teeny bit and with a little bit of wheel cleaner these things are gonna look great and that is a 2.5 rs 2001 that i'll be selling legit all right guys after just four or five days as you can see i've stripped and sold a ton of parts on this 2001 2.5 rs it's a four-door with manual transmission if you guys are interested in these parts, drop a line in the comment section or send me an email at subarolingshop at gmail.com. Uh, basically, engine's already been pulled. As you can see, I'm still gonna pull these struts. These struts are actually really, really nice, guys. I'm gonna do a little walk around some of the parts here. These are AGX fully adjustable KYB struts. And actually these coils are, as you can see right there, there's a part number. These are H&R coils. And these are progressive rate coils. And as you can see, just kind of from the paint, these coils are really in like near new condition. And if you can kind of see the strut body in there, there's really no rust or chipping on the strut body either. So I'd say these struts and these coils are really virtually brand new on this car. And then of course, as I pull back right there, you'll see the front disc brakes are in good condition. Also the rack and pinion is in good condition. I'll probably steal that rack, put that on my 97 RS I have in the shop. But moving around right here to the back, you can see, same in the back, it's got those KYB AGX adjustable struts. Uh, the adjustment knob is right here in the back, can't really see that from right here, but these rear struts are actually eight-way adjustable. 
and I believe the fronts are about five-way adjustable. And of course, this one also has those AGX progressive rate coils. I'm sorry, the h &R progressive rate coils. And the progressive rate coil, you can tell by noticing that the spacing between the coils is actually going to be tighter at the bottom or maybe at the top. But basically, the spacing is different throughout the length of the coil. And that's what gives that progressive rate. So it has different spring rates uh, based on different types of pre different amounts of pressure it's being applied to them. This is where the stock sway bar will be. I've already removed the sway bar. And I have the whole rear disc brake assembly right here with the trailing arms and the lateral links. I'm actually going to pull this whole rear disc brake assembly with all those suspension components off. I'm going to drop this rear brake assembly on my 97 coupe, which is actually right there. The 97 two-door coupe. It's actually going to the paint shop in the next few days. And as we walk around here, I'll just kind of pull back. As you can see, the JDM rear taillights. I actually, I'm going to keep those rear JDM taillights. But I'll tell you guys, I got... 20 or 30 emails about those JDM taillights. And I listed those taillights for $280, which is actually what you can buy them new from the dealership, or at least last time I checked. I actually need to check the stock and inventory of the dealerships because I suspect maybe those two-tone JDM taillights are no longer available at dealerships, and that's why they're so popular. Otherwise, I don't really get it. I don't know why everybody is so on those used JDM taillights when you can still buy them new from the dealerships. And then of course, you can see the door right there. There's one more door left. I sold the rear two doors and the passenger door. I've actually been selling these doors for $250 each and they're sold really quickly. It's only been two or three days. And I suspect it's a really good deal for the guys that picked them up because the doors were in perfect condition. So there's one more door left and I'm obviously selling that for $250 still. I was kind of open this and you can see I've already removed the dash. I still have the dash in my garage right there. So it hasn't been sold yet, but I've removed the steering wheel. This actually had the red leather wrapped or leather stitched steering wheel. And I actually have the red stitched little shift knob too, guys. I'll show you that right now, actually. Let's go in the shop and check that out. Cause that is pretty awesome. This is an OEM 2.5 RS leather wrapped shift knob with a red stitching. And as you can see, it's still got a little bit of stuff that needs to be taken off. That's just kind of oil and grease that's on the leather, but that actually can be cleaned off. And basically this shift knob should be able to be restored in virtually perfect condition. So that's what these shift knobs look like with that red stitching in them. Uh, this is a really nice one, really good condition too. I'll show you the matching steering wheel that's gonna go with this. Okay, this is a red stitched steering wheel. It's gonna go with it. You can kind of see the red stitching right here along the, the leather binding point. So this steering wheel is also that original factory 2.5 RS leather wrap steering wheel with the red little stitching. And it's a perfect combo for this little shift knob. Although they both definitely need a little bit of cleaning and restoration still. Okay, heading back out here to the car, another thing people have been asking about are these rear quarter panels. Both of the rear quarter panels on this 2001 RS are in really good condition. And people have been asking about coming out here and actually cutting these rear quarter panels. And I'll show you exactly where they want to cut them. Basically, you can cut these rear quarter panels up here and then take out this whole section, cut it out right here, remove this rear glass, and then bring it along here and cut it somewhere over here along this rear light. And then down here along the lower section underneath the bumper, and then remove this whole metal rear panel and then install that in their crash car because you can't actually get these rear panels anymore or at least they're pretty expensive if they are still available from the dealerships. So I guess these go for around 300 to $400 a side, somewhere in that kind of range. I think some people have shown me that they go all the way up to about six or $700 a side, but I think they're actually still available in the dealership for somewhere around five or 600. So I think the used market price for these rear quarter panels is somewhere in the range of about 250, 300, 400 dollars. That's pretty much the market, I think, depending where you are and what the demand is. So I'll probably be selling these rear quarter panels as well, but I have to be honest with you guys, even though the front is damaged, once you cut these rear quarter panels out, you're basically destroying that car permanently. And I'm a little hesitant to do that. Even though people are offering me five or 600 bucks for that, it kind of permanently destroys this car. And once you do that, there's really no turning back. And I really don't like the idea of doing that. I kind of feel like this car might be a good candidate for doing that front engine swap with a two frame chassis and saving it for some kind of motorsport application. So let me know what you guys think. I really don't know what to do, uh, but I'll tell you guys, it does kind of seem like it's blasphemy and a little bit too far to let somebody come in here with a hacksaw and start hacking up the whole body of this car. I'm really not feeling too good about that. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious what your thoughts are on that. 
Uh, another thing I'll mention, guys, is that the bulkhead wiring harness was another one that a lot of people were asking about. It was a really, really popular item that people were asking about. And uh, actually, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the bulkhead wiring harness. I suspect the reason people are interested in that is because that's what you need when you're gonna do a wiring merge to do a turbo swap in one of these cars. So people are looking for that bulkhead harness and they could probably send that to something like iWire, get a merge done, and that way they could have, you know, that whole wiring harness ready to go for their swap. So I think that's why that's really popular too. And then moving over here, just kind of the suspension again. Like I mentioned, the engine's already gone. Let me park, zoom out here a little bit. There you go, there's a wide view. So the engine's already gone, but this is a transmission right here, the five-speed RS transmission that only has 121,000 miles on it. So that's gonna be a great, great five-speed RS transmission. It's gonna go in that 97 coupe I have. And then the only other thing in here is actually this little power steering pump that's already sold. I have somebody coming to get it. And then I'll actually pull the brake booster out and the clutch master right there. Definitely gonna pull those out as well. A couple extra parts gonna take. I'll take the windshield wiper motor right there as well. And then I'm thinking about taking this little ABS motor right here because the ABS motor and ABS control module are actually one unit right there. And it looks like this one's in pretty good condition, even though, as you guys can see, the whole front of this car has been really damaged. So let's step back and take a look at this damage. You can see how this car was smashed pretty badly, really kind of pushed over to the side. Obviously the core support is all damaged, the front fender wells and the inner fender wells are all damaged. But what the damage really is, the bad damage is the frame right here. This is a frame that's been crumpled and crushed and moved quite a bit. But it looks like it's crumpled mostly right here. And if you were to cut this frame off, like right here, or maybe a little further back right here, I think the rest of the chassis would be just fine. You could basically cut the frame off right there and cut the tub out right here, somewhere around this like strut tower area. And then over here on the driver's side, same thing. You can see it's bent quite a bit, the frame, and obviously, the inner fender well and everything has been bent and collapsed. See right here how it's been smushed really badly. Um, but if you were to move up right here and cut this frame off right about here, I think this car would be just fine. Cut that frame off, putting a new frame in. Or if you want to turn this car into a race car, a lot of the drag guys or other type of motorsports, they'll actually cut the frames off and put a tube frame chassis in these cars as well. Or another option people are doing is they're putting engine swaps in these cars. And if you're going to do a 2JZ swap or an LS swap, you definitely need to cut off the frame anyways. So if you're looking to do a swap on a 2.5 RS, this is actually the perfect candidate. And I actually have the title for this car. It's a salvage title, but I have the title. So this car could actually be put back on the road with that title because once you have a salvage title, you can go through the inspection process and get, and get the car road legal. So this car could be a great candidate for a swap, especially if you can do an LS or a 2JZ or a 1JZ swap. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay guys, that was a quick little overview of this 2.5 RS four-door with a manual transmission that I'm doing a full part out on. Like I said earlier, I've actually had this car for only about five or six days and I've already sold a ton of parts on it. So if you guys need any parts on this car, go ahead and drop me a comment or send me an email at superonlyshop at gmail.com. All right guys, thanks a lot for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. My name's Luke. You guys are watching the Super Only channel. Until next time guys, later. Okay.